What if the world as we know it is controlled by a secretive global elite? This is the question that forms the basis of the New World Order theory. Now, before you dismiss it as just another conspiracy theory, let's take a step back and explore its origins and evolution. The term New World Order is not new. It has historical roots in the post, World War I and II efforts to establish global governance. Institutions such as the League of Nations and the United Nations were born out of this desire for a more unified, peaceful world. But like any good story, the narrative evolved over time. The New World Order theory, as we understand it today, is an amalgamation of fears and anxieties about a totalitarian one-world government. It's a tale of international bankers and politicians pulling the strings behind the scenes, orchestrating a grand plan to control the world. The theory found fertile ground in American right-wing circles with figures like George H.W. Bush referencing a New World Order in post-Cold War global governance discussions. This concept of a New World Order has been linked to anti-globalist sentiments and concerns about loss of national sovereignty. It's a narrative that taps into our deepest fears of losing control, of becoming puppets in a game played by unseen hands. It's a story that has been told and retold, gaining traction and evolving with each retelling. But is this just a theory, or could there be some truth to it? Strap in, as we're about to delve deeper into the enigma of the New World Order. The seeds of the New World Order theory were sown in the aftermath of the World Wars. Let's take a step back to the early 20th century. The world was reeling from the devastating impact of the First World War. Nations were left broken, economies shattered, and societies torn apart. In this backdrop, an idea took root the concept of global governance to prevent such a catastrophe from happening again. This led to the formation of the League of Nations, an intergovernmental organization aimed at promoting peace and cooperation among nations. However, the League of Nations was unable to prevent the outbreak of the Second World War. This was a time of profound change and uncertainty. Yet, out of this chaos, a new world order began to form. The United Nations was established in the wake of the Second World War with a similar goal as its predecessor, but with a broader mandate and more robust mechanisms for conflict resolution. These post-war efforts to establish global governance are the bedrock on which the New World Order theory was built. The idea of a unified global power was already in the minds of the world leaders. The NWO narrative took this concept a step further, suggesting that a secretive global elite was working towards a totalitarian world government. In the years that followed, this narrative evolved and took on different forms, from fears of a collectivist one-world government orchestrated by international bankers and politicians to concerns about the loss of national sovereignty, the New World Order theory became a potent symbol of anti-globalist sentiments. Interestingly, the term New World Order was not limited to conspiracy theories. It was also used in mainstream political discourse. For instance, former American President George H.W. Bush referenced a New World Order in his discussions on post-Cold War global governance. This overlap between conspiracy theory and political rhetoric further fueled the NWO narrative, making it a pervasive part of American right-wing circles. The idea of a one-world government, then, is not entirely new. It has been a part of global conversations for decades. However, it is the sinister twist of a secretive elite pulling the strings that transformed this concept into the conspiracy theory we know today as the New World Order. Over time, the initial concept of the New World Order has evolved, taking on a life of its own. The post-war aspiration for global governance morphed into something far more sinister, a theory of a clandestine world government led by an elite circle of international players. The narrative began to shift, subtly at first, as it was influenced by the socio-political climate. The Cold War brought with it a heightened sense of paranoia and fear, fertile ground for conspiracy theories. In this context, the New World Order theory began to incorporate anxieties about a collectivist one-world government. Underpinning this new interpretation were fears of powerful international bankers and politicians pulling the strings behind the scenes. It painted a picture of ordinary citizens controlled by unseen forces, their freedoms curtailed by a faceless bureaucracy with a global reach. These fears found a receptive audience, particularly in American right-wing circles. The end of the Cold War and the emergence of a unipolar world led by the United States provided a breeding ground for these ideas. The rhetoric of the New World Order was co-opted and redefined, becoming a catchphrase for those who saw globalization not as a path to peace and prosperity, but as a threat to national sovereignty. As the years went by, the theory continued to evolve, absorbing other conspiracy theories along the way. 
It became a sort of umbrella term, encompassing a variety of fears and anxieties about the changing world. The New World Order was no longer just about a world government, it was about the loss of personal freedoms, the erosion of national identities, and the rise of a global elite. Notably, the theory has not been confined to the fringes of society, it has found its way into mainstream discourse, often surfacing in political rhetoric. Some political figures have even been accused of stoking these fears for their own ends, further entrenching the theory in public consciousness. In its current form, the New World Order theory is a complex web of fears and anxieties, a reflection of the uncertainties of our time. It's a product of historical events, socio-political shifts, and the human tendency to seek patterns and explanations in the face of the unknown. The New World Order theory as we understand it today is a product of this evolution. It's a testament to the power of ideas and the role they play in shaping our perception of the world. The New World Order theory is not just a fringe conspiracy theory, it has found a place in modern politics too. When we peel back the layers of political rhetoric we often find echoes of the New World Order theory. It's not just found in the whispers of conspiracy theorists but also in the speeches of notable political figures. One such instance is George H.W. Bush's reference to the New World Order in the framework of post-Cold War global governance discussions. In the aftermath of the Cold War, as nations grappled with the realignment of geopolitical power, Bush envisioned a world where the rule of law, not the law of the jungle, governs the conduct of nations. His words were meant to foster a sense of unity and collective responsibility among nations. However, in the minds of those wary of global governance, these words stoked fears of a totalitarian world government led by a secretive global elite. The New World Order theory has also played a significant role in shaping anti-globalist sentiments. As the world becomes more interconnected, there are those who fear the erosion of national sovereignty. They worry that international collaborations and agreements might lead to a loss of control over their nation's destiny and see the invisible hand of the New World Order at play. This fear of a loss of national sovereignty is not unfounded. In an ever-globalizing world, decisions made on an international stage can indeed influence domestic policies. However, it's crucial to separate the practical implications of global governance from the dystopian vision of a totalitarian world government propagated by the New World Order theory. In modern politics, the New World Order theory has also found a place in the rhetoric of extremism. We see this in the shift towards extremism in political parties where conspiracy theories are invoked to fuel fears and drive divisive agendas. This departure from traditional norms of governance and civility is a troubling trend, but it also underscores the influence of the New World Order theory on modern politics. In conclusion, the New World Order theory has undoubtedly left its mark on modern politics. From the speeches of former presidents to the rhetoric of political extremism, its influence is undeniable. However, it's important to question and critically analyze these narratives to discern political rhetoric from reality. The New World Order theory, it seems, has permeated deeper into our society than we might think. Is the New World Order a reality or is it just a figment of our collective imagination? It's a question that has been the subject of fervent debate and speculation for decades. The New World Order theory, often abbreviated as NWO, is a concept that has sparked intrigue, fear, and skepticism in equal measure. But is there any substance to this theory? Let's look at the evidence. On one hand, proponents of the NWO theory point to the undeniable rise of global governance structures. The League of Nations Post, World War I, the United Nations Post, World War II, and more recently the World Trade Organization and the International Monetary Fund, all signify a move towards a more integrated global community. They argue that these organizations, while seemingly benign, are part of a larger plan orchestrated by a secretive global elite to establish a one-world government. Moreover, the references to a new world order by political figures including former U.S. President George H.W. Bush are often cited as evidence that this plan is not just a conspiracy theory, but a reality. On the flip side, skeptics of the NWO theory argue that the concept is a manifestation of anti-globalist sentiments and fears about loss of national sovereignty. They contend that the rise of global governance structures is not a nefarious plot, but rather a necessary response to increasingly global challenges such as climate change, terrorism, and pandemics. Furthermore, they point out that the use of the phrase New World Order by political figures 
is often taken out of context. When George H.W. Bush used the term, he was referring to the hope for a more cooperative international community in the post-Cold War era, not a totalitarian world government. So, where does this leave us? Well, as with most things in life, the truth likely lies somewhere in between. While the idea of a secretive global elite pulling the strings of world governance seems far-fetched, it's undeniable that our world is becoming increasingly interconnected and interdependent. The implications of this shift are profound. If the New World Order theory holds any truth, it challenges our understanding of global politics and governance. It forces us to question the balance of power in our world and the role of national sovereignty in an increasingly globalized society. But even if the New World Order is nothing more than a conspiracy theory, its impact on our society, influencing political discourse and inspiring fear and skepticism, is undeniable. Whether the New World Order is fact or fiction, its impact on our society is undeniable. Let's take a closer look at the New World Order theory and its implications. Delving deeper into the New World Order narrative, it suggests an orchestrated global governance scheme. The supposed puppet masters pulling the strings, international bankers, politicians, and secret societies. This idea is steeped in suspicion, intrigue, and fear of invisible forces controlling the world. International bankers are often painted as the financial architects of this alleged order. The theory suggests that these economic powerhouses manipulate global finances to their advantage, influencing policy and political decisions worldwide. They're seen as the puppeteers of a global economy, guiding it towards a single unified system. This idea stems from anxieties about economic control and the perceived threat of a one-world currency. Politicians, too, are implicated in the New World Order theory. They're portrayed as the faces of this secret regime, enacting policies and laws that supposedly inch us closer to a global government. This belief capitalizes on the public's distrust of political figures and institutions, fueled by instances of corruption, scandals, and the often opaque nature of political processes. Then, we have the secret societies, groups like the Illuminati or the Freemasons. These organizations, according to the theory, operate behind the scenes, shaping world events, and guiding humanity towards this new world order. The idea of secret societies controlling the world taps into our fascination with the unknown and the unseen. It's a narrative that's been popularized in pop culture, further fueling speculation and belief in their existence and influence. But it's essential to remember, these are theories. Narratives built on fears, suspicions, and sometimes misinformation. They reflect our collective anxieties about losing control, about being manipulated by unseen forces. They're stories we tell to make sense of complex global events and power dynamics. The New World Order theory, like many conspiracy theories, offers an alternative explanation to the world's complexities. It presents a narrative where everything is interconnected, where nothing happens by chance, and where power is concentrated in the hands of a few. It's a story that's both frightening and compelling, one that continues to captivate the imaginations of many. The New World Order theory offers a complex and intriguing narrative about global power dynamics. How does the New World Order theory affect you and your understanding of the world? A profound question indeed. As we delve into the depths of this topic, we find that the New World Order theory, like many conspiracy theories, has a significant influence on how individuals perceive global politics and governance. When we hear about a secretive global elite orchestrating world events, it's natural to feel a sense of unease. The thought of a few individuals holding such immense power can make the world seem a little less predictable and a lot more ominous. This kind of thinking can lead to a sense of distrust in established institutions, fostering feelings of skepticism and cynicism. Furthermore, the New World Order theory taps into the deep-seated fear of losing national sovereignty. The idea of a one-world government as proposed by the theory can seem threatening to our sense of identity and our cherished values. This fear can significantly shape our views on global cooperation and our attitudes towards international organizations. Then there is the psychological impact of conspiracy theories in general. These theories often present a world that is vastly different from the one we know, challenging our understanding of reality. They provoke a sense of curiosity, disbelief, and sometimes even fear. The allure of these theories lies in their ability to offer alternative explanations, encouraging us to question the mainstream narrative. However, it's important to remember that while questioning is healthy, it's also crucial to approach these theories with a critical mind. After all, not everything that challenges the status quo is necessarily true. 
And while it's easy to get lost in the labyrinth of conspiracy theories, it's essential to seek out credible sources and consider multiple perspectives. The New World Order theory, like all conspiracy theories, challenges us to question our understanding of the world. But remember, questioning should be the start of a journey towards knowledge, not a descent into unfounded paranoia. Stay curious, stay critical, and above all, stay informed. The New World Order theory is a fascinating topic that has captured the imagination of many. It's a narrative that has been woven through decades of history, politics, and cultural discourse, evolving with the times and adapting to the fears and anxieties of each new generation. In this video, we've delved into the historical roots of the New World Order concept, tracing its origins back to the post-World War efforts to establish global governance. We've seen how the theory has morphed over time, incorporating elements of anti-globalist sentiment, fears of a one-world government, and concerns about the loss of national sovereignty. We've also touched on the role of the New World Order in modern politics, highlighting its influence on right-wing circles in America. The use of the term by figures like George H.W. Bush in discussions of post-Cold War global governance only served to fuel the theory's growth and reach. Yet, as we've discussed, it's crucial to approach such theories with a healthy dose of critical thinking. While it's easy to get swept up in the intrigue and drama of a global conspiracy, it's essential to separate fact from fiction and question the sources and motivations behind these narratives. We've taken a closer look at the evidence, the arguments, and the counter-arguments, and we've explored the potential impact of the New World Order theory on our everyday lives. The theory, like any other, should be a tool for understanding the world around us, not a cause for fear or paranoia. Whether you believe in the New World Order theory or not, its influence on our society is undeniable. It's a conversation that continues to shape our understanding of global politics and our place within it. And as we move forward, it's a conversation that's worth staying engaged in. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, History Facts, for more intriguing discussions like this one. This video was brought to you by History Facts. We'd like to extend our gratitude to our research sources, which include various news outlets and the wealth of information available on the World Wide Web. Special mention to the extensive article on the New World Order on Wikipedia, which provided valuable insights into this intriguing theory. We want to acknowledge the hard work and dedication of our production team, who tirelessly strive to bring you compelling and thought-provoking content. Their commitment to exploring historical events and theories is what makes our channel a reliable source of information and entertainment. To you, our viewers, we extend our heartfelt thanks. Your curiosity and thirst for knowledge drive us to delve deeper, question more and strive to illuminate the shadows where truth and theory intertwine. Without you, our channel would be a ship without a compass. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more enlightening videos from History Facts. Together, we can continue to unearth the mysteries and marvels of our world's history. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more interesting videos on History Facts.